got the sun shining a bit so I can try and show off the silver color in these. I'll do it one at a time. So yeah, this is going to be the official auction video for these points from the Silver Sheen Obsidian series during which I unfortunately broke the large biface but managed to get three smaller points out of it. Of course as I start filming the sun goes behind a cloud and right, I'm gonna wait till that comes back and then go through each point individually real quick. Okay, so the first one is this little weird one. My first attempt at a trihedral kind of, you know, trihedral, you know, with three faces point. Um, yeah, it was just made on the, the distal end of a big overshot flake, you know, where it came across and took out the whole edge of the biface. You can see where that edge was. Did some more pressure flaking after. Um, just to sharpen up the tips mostly and get this edge a bit more even yeah so it's a bit weird but I'm gonna throw this into the pile because why not yeah I didn't mention but I'm selling all four of these things as one lot of items that you can all bid on in this video okay so this small one here is uh my attempt at a tiny little Cahokia point, you know, triangular tri-notch or triple notch point. I didn't get the, the notches in very far with my antler pressure flaker, but that's okay. The silver shows up really well on this point. How can I best show that off? Yeah, it's pretty cool like that. At just the right angle, it shows up perfectly. Almost looks kind of gold in that light, but it's silver. It shows up a little bit on the back as well. Yep. So the Cahokia Point is, you know, from the Cahokia Mound, a pretty, pretty famous site. I don't think I need to explain it too much. Here is was my attempt at a, a little Snyder's point. Um, I ended up making the notches way too big, trying to get them even and balanced. They should be, you know, the the stem here, the base should be at least a millimeter or two wider on each side, and then you know these should be a little farther down, I think and more kind of kind of ovoid going in you know with the notches diagonally instead of being very rounded like they are oh well um sun's kind of hiding a little bit again but yeah the silver silver shows up pretty well on this piece not really on this face but you can see it around the edges really well This one is the cool one. Yeah, you can see how much of that silver shows up. It's pretty nice, I think. Cool effect for this obsidian. You know, if you display it at the right angle, you can catch that cool silver effect. I like it. Um, yeah, the the Snyder's Point is also a very well-known one from, uh, I think, the, the Hopewellian culture. Uh, you know, Hopewell interaction sphere and all that. Finally, I've got a tiny little Dalton Point. That, sorry, not Dalton, Hilo Point that picked up the, the silver really well. I said Dalton because it's kind of like a, a tiny little Dalton. It's a... Uh, a point that's you know local to my area southern Ontario um, 
it's typical of the the late paleo or probably transitional paleo to archaic period uh, yeah it just looks like a really tiny dalton with this kind of eared concave base and then the small little notches there um you know they don't they didn't serrate these like the daltons were you know daltons were pretty toothy um but yeah silver showed up pretty well couldn't get it off the the very middle there but kind of provides some like layering yeah cool little point i think yeah so there we are four points made of silver sheen obsidian kind of a you know a collection of different point types from around the u.s and canada uh, this trihedral point i don't think was ever really made around here but this is more of a kind of anatolian thing that i'm fami familiar with from my workout in turkey anyways yeah that's uh that's the four points I've got up for auction this time. Please uh, place your bids in the comments section below this video or email me at prehistoricliving at gmail.com and I can get your bids put on, put on the video either anonymously or with your name if you want. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have exactly seven days just like last time. So it's Sunday today, hopefully I'll be able to get this video up tonight, and we can say, yeah, so it's October 2nd today, one week from today will be October 9th, and yeah, we'll say the auction will end October 9th, 11.59pm Eastern Standard Time, just like last time, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna, these will be in the auction all together, four points sold together as a lot. Yeah, so happy bidding. Thanks for watching, and uh, you know you can always comment below, even if you, even if you're not placing a bid, that's always helpful and nice. Thanks so much for all your support over the years. Really means a lot to me. Hoping to grow this channel bigger in the future. Anyways, that's it for this one. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.